Assalamualaikum, good morning, and welcome to all today's seminar. Today our seminar on scenario of traumatic patient management, and the seminar is chaired by our Professor Nasiruddin Sir, Governmental Head, and the resource person is Dr. Muhammad Saipur Islam and Mahmoud Rashid Choudhury. And our today's speaker is Dr. Tonmoy Ucha, the indoor medical officer, and I am requested our government ahead or chairperson and uh, to start the seminar thank you sir. assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh welcome to all to today's scientific seminar on traumatic patient management our today's speaker dr tonmay rai utshan i am requesting him to speech his Speech is delivered. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome everyone in our today's seminar on the scenario of traumatic patient management in uh, concern to orthopedics department. <coughs> World trauma day to, to 2023 globally observed on 17 October. In 2023, a shocking statistics disclosed that in India, a road accident occurs approximately every 1.9 minutes and transport-related incidents contributing 22.8% of all trauma. 1.3 million lives are lost and 20 million individuals find themselves hospitalized annually due to accident. According to WHO, Trauma stands as a primary contributor to global fatalities and disabilities. Approximately 25,000 lives are lost in road accidents in every year in Bangladesh. Every day, an average of 64 individuals lost their lives in road accidents across the country. 51% of these victims are earners. WHO estimates that these accidents account for a significant 5.3% loss of Bangladesh GDP. Hundreds of thousands of people have injured about 80,000 sustaining disability in every year. Trauma. Trauma originates from the Greek word meaning own. It implies a physical force extended on a person has led to the physical injury. External energy from and forces that can lead to injury include chemical, thermal, ionizing radiation and most frequently those of mechanical origin. Uh, picture showing uh, some mechanism of injury, kinetic or mechanical, thermal, chemical, electrical, radiation injury, etc. Steps in management, uh, we divided it into it three steps, pre-hospital, triage and hospital management. In pre-hospital, it's very important for selecting the patient who requires earlier treatment and warning the receiving hospital for the management of this patient. At first, we concern that hospital that the, about the patient condition, about the patient GC score. If we had warned the uh, receiving hospital about that patient, the management of patient is very well. Triage. Triage is the process of prioritizing patient treatment during mass casualty events. Patients are classified according to the type and urgency of their condition to get the right patient to the right place at the right time with the right care provider. Now the hospital management. Treat the life-threatening condition first. Approach trauma in an organized and sequential manner. The rule of the trauma team is to apply the principles of advanced trauma life support to rapidly identify and treat the threatening injuries during the primary survey. In this slide, I want to show everyone that after injury, 
at first primary survey, then resuscitation of the patient, then re-evaluation, then secondary survey. After secondary survey, again evaluate the patient and transfer the patient in definitive department for definite care. In primary survey, at first control of massive external hemorrhage, then airway with cervical spine protection, breathing and ventilation, circulation and hemorrhage control, disability and exposure for access for other injuries. In secondary survey, history taking, complete physical examination, tubes and fingers in every orifice and then neurological examination. Now, trauma causes in concern to our orthopedics department, in joint, dislocation and subluxation, in bones that is fracture, in muscle strain, ligament sprain and tendon injury. Muscle and tendon injury. An injury to the muscle is termed a strain. Muscles are ruptured more often than tendons in young people, while the reverse is true in the elderly. The most frequent cause of partial or complete rupture of a muscle or a tendon is sudden vigorous contraction of that muscle. It may be over stretching of a muscle at rest. The fatigue muscle that uh, cross to joints are especially prone to injury as like as hamstring muscle. <laughs> that is a picture showing the captain of Bangladesh cricket team. He suffered from hamstring strain in 2018 World Cup cricket. There are three grades of muscle injury. Grade 1, mild muscle pull or strain. Get to partial muscle tear and grade 3, complete muscle tear. Rupture Achilles tendon is a very common condition. Uh, picture showing the South African spinner, Kashav Maharaj. He suffered from rupture Achilles tendon during bowling in two weeks back. Management of muscle injury, muscles and tendon injury. The best treatment of fresh rupture is to regain continuity by in to in repair. When the gap is too much, it can be filled with the help of a tendon graft. Delayed muscle soreness, another common condition. It's occurred uh, within 24 to 72 hours of a intense exercise and it lasts one to five days. The non steroidal anti inflammatory drug is effective in this condition. Now, the ligament injury. An injury to a ligament is termed a sprain. Sprain classified also into three degrees first degree, second, and third. In first degree, is the tear of only a few fibers. In second degree, the tears so number of fiber, tears fiber is almost one third. And in third degree, complete tears of ligament. Ligament injury. In common ligament injury, we found in uh, knee joint, uh, SCL injury, uh, BCL injury, MCL lateral collateral ligament sprain, posterior lateral coronary injury, posterior and patellar dislocation. In ankle joint, sprained ankle, here the disruption of lateral collateral ligament. In shoulder joint, acromioclavicular joint injury, dislocated shoulder. In acromioclavicular uh, joint, there is disruption of two ligaments. Number one is acromioclavicular ligament and number two is the curacoclavicular ligament. In shoulder joint dislocation, there is disruption of the inferior glenohumeral ligament. In wrist joint, there is wrist sprain, scyer's thumb or gamekeeper's thumb. The scyer's thumb is the condition where ulnar collateral ligament is tear. In spinal ligament injury, neck sprain and whiplash. Picture showing a photograph of ankle sprain. There is disruption of the lateral collateral ligament. Now the joint. In joint, we found there is two conditions. Number one is subluxation and number two is dislocation. In subluxation, we manage this patient by immediate close reduction by a trained personnel. In dislocation, there is two process of reduction. Number one is manual reduction and number two is open reduction and internal fixation. Here, the x-ray showing the correction of shoulder joint dislocation. Uh, the first picture showing anterior dislocation of shoulder. 
anterior dislocation of the shoulder joint and after manual correction this picture showing a normal shoulder joint the manual correction of shoulder is done by two process uh, there is two process number one is cocher's maneuver and hippocrates maneuver actually showing dislocation of elbow joint and corrected manually here first x-ray showing the this uh, dislocated hip joint and after manually correction this is corrected hip joint this is the technique of reduction of uh, hip joint this is a classical watson jones process or classical watson jones technique now i say about post traumatic osteoarthritis this is also very common this condition is occurred after the joint injury develops after joint injury in fact it accounts for a significant percentage of in stage osteoarthritis post traumatic osteoarthritis is more common in younger age especially more active and healthier individuals post traumatic osteoarthritis account for 12% of all cases of symptomatic osteoarthritis there are several types of injuries that causes post traumatic osteoarthritis such as acute ligament injury chronic ligamentous instability acl rupture meniscus rupture fracture cartilage damage or combination of this the time is taken to develop post traumatic osteoarthritis can be short as 6 to 12 month and also may occur within 10 to 20 years again it depends on the initial injury how severe the injury is totally depends on the injury severity and age and activity level <laughs> medications such as nsaid and analgesics are effective there is also intraarticular corticosteroid injection hyaluronic acid injection are effective the surgical process total knee replacement is also effective for younger age and this total knee replacement is depends on the age of the patient and severity of the condition now i want to see here the process of total knee replacement procedure of total knee replacement after total uh, knee replacement picture shows here the total knee replacement is done now the in bones trauma causes in bones fracture a very common condition there are pictures showing uh, there are different types of radiological types of fracture avulsion fracture green stick fracture transverse fracture segmental oblique spiral and comminuted fracture management of fracture at first that uh, principle of treatment of close fracture resuscitation if necessary recognition or diagnosis reduction if necessary rest by immobilization and rehabilitation methods of reduction and immobilization close reduction by manipulation and immobilization with plaster of paris close reduction by traction and counter traction open reduction and internal fixation close reduction and internal fixation open reduction and external fixation in open fracture shaft of the tibia here at first the picture showing close reduction by manipulation immobilization with plaster of paris the first picture shows a short leg foot cast <coughs> that is used in ankle sprain fractured in the ankle joint etc second picture shows long arm full cast and the final picture it shows police cast here this cast is done by plaster of paris the plaster of paris is made by hemihydrate calcium sulfate we used it for the immobilization of the affected limb now the second method close reduction by traction and counter traction there is three types of traction surface traction or skin traction manual traction and skeletal traction there is different uh, types of surface traction uh, like as gallows traction that is used in fracture shaft of the femur dunlop traction used in supracondylar fracture of the humerus halter traction used in cervical spine injury pelvic traction and box traction the uh, pic first picture showing a picture of box traction that is used in femur fracture <coughs> second picture is dunlop traction that is used in supracondylar fracture of the humerus tong traction halter traction used in the cervical spine injury gallows traction that is used in femur fracture uh, from the age between from birth to up to 2 years <coughs> 
the, the, the number three method close reduction and internal fixation here uh, slide showing three radiograph the in first x-ray there is a camera insertion in the lower end of the radius that is fixed by close reduction and the number two is insertion of a cancellous screw in the tibial plateau fracture and the third one is the KOR fixation in supracondylar fracture. Here the x-ray showing the fracture metacarpal and that is fixed by KOR by close reduction. Phalanx fracture corrected by KOR insertion. Supracondylar fracture of the humerus that is corrected by KOR fixation that is done by open reduction and internal fixation. In uh, neck of femur fracture, we done hemi arthroplasty that is done by a uh, two process. Uh, we use here uh, two prosthesis. Uh, number one is unipolar prosthesis, number two is bipolar prosthesis. The difference between unipolar and bipolar prosthesis is. Uh, in the unipolar prosthesis, uh, we use the, the prosthesis that has a head and a stem. The stem inserted in the medullary canal of the femur and head is seat into the acetabula. But in case of bipolar prosthesis, we use a same prosthesis but a, a movable cap is attached to the head of the prosthesis. The stem is inserted into the medullary canal of the femur and the uh, movable cap is attached into the acetabulum. In bipolar processes, there is two movement occur. Now, first movement is between the acetabulum and the movable uh, cap, and second movement occur between the uh, move, movable cap and the head. <coughs> Here, picture showing a radiograph of a total hip replacement by bipolar processes and screw. And this is the dynamic hip screw used in the intertrochanteric fracture of the femur. Here the x-ray showing the comminuted fracture in the lower end of the femur that is corrected by open reduction internal fixation by L plate and cortical screw. Uh, the third uh, x-ray shows distal condylar plate and screw. Here another uh, third typic, uh, radiograph of open reduction internal fixation process. The first one is intramedul intramedullary interlocking nail used in the fracture shaft of the femur. Tension bend wire used in the patella fracture and maxon circular wire is also used in the patella fracture. Here uh, the x-ray showing an intramedullary interlocking nail used in the fracture shaft of the femur, a dynamic compression plate that is also used in fracture shaft of the femur. But the interlocking intramedullary nail is the best treatment for fracture of the femur. Uh, that also depends on the fracture site, fracture shape, fracture type, and finally depends on the uh, uh, management in hospital. That's the interlocking intramedullary nail. There is required uh, uh, Im in image intensifier machine that is called CR machine. In two weeks back, uh, the hospital management uh, gives us a CR machine. Fracture shaft of the tibia that is the fracture is uh, immobilized, uh, fracture is treated by. Uh, dynamic compression plate that is open reduction and internal fixation. <coughs> Here, the pl in plateau fracture of tibia that is uh, fixed by buttress plate with cancellous screw and cortical screw. Actually, showing comminuted fracture in the patella and that is fixed by KOR fixation and the process is open reduction and internal fixation. This is the picture of a non-union in uh, radius and uh, this non-union is treated with uh, open reduction and external fixation by Elizaro. And this Elizaro process is invented by a Russian surgeon. 
the main theme about the elisa rock is uh, osteogenesis occur uh, in a dynamic state and in proper dynamic state in proper compression uh, there is osteogenic state the uh, mesenchymal cells of the non union site is differentiated into osteoblast and causes bone formation another the process is close reduction and an external fixation by elisa rock ring and mini this is mini external fixator uh, compound or open fracture fracture which communicate with external ear is called compound or open fracture there is three types of open fracture picture showing uh, some op uh, open fracture aims of treatment to cover a contaminated wound into a clean wound and thus help to cover an open fracture into a closed one to establish union in good position to prevent pyogenic and clostridial infection plans of treatment antibiotic prophylaxis own debridement stabilization of the fracture and own closure picture showing actually showing a fracture shaft of the tibia and fibula that is fixed by external fixator elisa rock ring and the process was open reduction and external fixation here picture of some tibial external fixator now the spine injury fracture and dislocation of the spine are serious injuries because they may be associated with damage to the spinal cord or cauda equina thoracolumbar segment is the commonest site of injury lower cervical being the next common about 20% of all spine injury result in a neurological deficit in the form of paraplegia when the injury is the thoracolumbar spine in and quadriplegia when the injury in the cervical spine there are different types of spinal injury flexion injury flexion rotation injury vertical compression injury extension injury flexion destruction injury direct injury or indirect injury management of the patient of a spinal injury at first immobilize the patient and uh, there is the picture of spinal board by which we immobilize the spinal injured patient then resuscitation of the patient neurological evaluation system by the american spinal injury association is an internationally acceptable methods of neurological evaluation it is based on a means complete spinal cord injury b means sensation present motor absent c means sensation motor present but not useful d means sensation present motor useful and e means the normal function the picture showing a uh, standard neurological classification of spinal cord injury the basic management of principle in case of cervical spine subluxation or dislocation skeletal traction is necessary to achieve anatomical realignment and this is done by strong traction in cervical spine injury here the mri showing the subluxation of the cervical vertebra and contusion in the spinal cord and this cervical vertebra subluxation is realignment by strong traction in the for the management of spinal cord injury also uh, surgical management here but surgical management is depends on the neurological status of the patient some common procedures which we perform surgical decompression surgical stabilization such as spinal fusion fixation of vertebra fixation of spine discectomy foraminotomy laminectomy here the uh, first picture shows the fracture dislocation of the thoracolumbar vertebra and that is condition in the spinal cord and we treated with it open reduction and posterior fixation here the first picture shows the mri shows that lumbar one burst fracture and contusion in the spinal cord and that is treated with posterior stabilization with pedicle screw this is all about uh, management of traumatic patient in orthopedic setup thank you
Thank you, Dr. Bhagavad Gita for nice presentation. Uh, is for, uh, question and answer session. Question I am a question. I am a I am a question. I am I am a question. I am a question. I যেহেতু এটা একটা একাডেমিক সেশন এখানে অনেক কিছু শিক্ষণীয় থাকে তো আমরা যেন ওই এখান থেকে অনেক কিছু শিখতে পারি প্রেজেন্টেশনের ব্যাপারে এই যে প্রেজেন্টেশন प्रिपरेशनও আমাদের একটু সতর্ক হতে হয় আমাদের এই নরমাল ফরম্যাটটা জানতে হয় কিভাবে প্রেজেন্ট করতে হবে কিভাবে তৈরি করতে হবে তা আমি একটু প্রথম থেকে দেখেন যে এই পাশে একটা লাগানো হয়েছে একটা পোস্টার উপরে লেখা আছে সেমিনার অন तापरे सिनेरियो ऑफ ट्रॉमाटिक पेशेंट मैनेजमेंट ते इटा सेमिनार इटा सिलो सेमिनार ते ठीक है सिर ते अखान ए इटे ऊपर वाले हेडलाइन बा हेडिंग ते सेमिनार ऑन एर ए सेमिनार एर प्रथम अक्षर कैपिटल लेटर हो बे ठीक है सिर इटे ऑन एर छोटा हाथ रहो बे इटा वालो प्री पोजिशन कंजंक्शन ग्रुप है দেওয়া হইছে এটা কোটেশন লেখার সময় এটা লিখতে হয় সাধারণত আমরা যখন কোটেশন বিজ্ঞানীদের কোটেশন বা এই কোটেশন লেখার সময় আমরা ব্যবহার করি কিন্তু অনেকেই দেখি অযথা যে কোন জায়গায় ব্যবহার করতেছি মানে সুন্দর দেখার জন্য কিন্তু সুন্দর দেখা পর কথা না আমরা এটা করব না আমি যেটা মনে করি আর এই সাইন্টিফিক সিনারিও ঠিক আছে অফ ঠিক আছে এই ট্রমাটিকের টিটা ক্যাপিটাল লেটার হবে पेशेंट एक पीटा के पीटा लेटर हो गए और मैनेजमेंट एक एम टाक के पीटा लेटर हो गए चार पांच सौ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर मोहम्मद नासिरुद्दीन ये ठीक है से कुत्ती डाक के पीटा लेटर देना होगी से ये नाम डाक ठीक है से एक है ना बात देखे ये सिनेरियो ऑफ ट्रॉमाटिक पेशेंट मैनेजमेंट एक है लेकिन तो ये कोटेशन তে এটা উদ্দেশ্য হলো যে আমরা পরবর্তী টাইমে যারা এটা কিন্তু তার ভুল হয় নাই কিন্তু আমরা তাকে সতর্ক করি নাই বা টেস্ট করি নাই প্রেজেন্ট করার আগে কিন্তু সুন্দর প্রেজেন্ট করছি কিন্তু দেখতে সুন্দর লাগতেছে প্রেজেন্ট করতে সুন্দর কিন্তু এইগুলি আমরা যখন সাইন্টিফিক সেমিনার বাইরে গিয়ে করব তখন আমরা এইগুলি খেয়াল রাখব হ্যাঁ নাম নাকি ভুল হয় না নাম দেওয়া হলে কি হয় যেমন আমার এখন এই যে প্রফেসর মোহাম্মদ নাসিরউদ্দিন এটা ঠিক আছে আমার নিচে লিখি এই যে একটু দেখি প্রফেসর এন্ড হেড অফ ডিপার্টমেন্ট এখানে প্রফেসর এন্ড হেড হেড এর এইটা কি বিটা লেটার হবে তারপর ওই পর্যন্ত শেষ প্রফেসর এন্ড হেড ওখান থেকে নিচে নেমে আসে ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ অর্থোপেডিক্স এন্ড ট্রমাটোলজি বুঝছেন তো এইগুলি আমাদের এই এখান দিয়ে শিখতে হবে আপনারা প্রফেসর আছেন আপনারা জানেন আমরা আমি টেস্ট ওই জুনিয়র দের জন্য বলছি নেক্সট আরেকটা কথা এই যে এই যে স্পিকার এই উপরের দিকে এই যে স্পিকারের পরে যে কোলনটা দেয়া হলো এই কোলনের পরে কিছু লেখা হয় নাই ওই যে স্পিকারের পরে একটা কোলন দেয়া হয়েছে ওই ওই পরে যদি কিছু লেখা থাকে তাহলে ওখানে একটা কোলন দেব কিছু না লেখা থাকলে আর কোলন লাগবে না নেক্সট আ আচ্ছা নেক্সট 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 এই যে এখানে মেকানিজম অফ ইনজুরি এটা হেডিং হেডিং এর বেলা তাই হবে প্রতি প্রতিটা শব্দের প্রথম অক্ষর ক্যাপিটাল হবে কিন্তু অফ এর ও ওটা ক্যাপিটাল হবে না মেকানিজম অফ ইনজুরি আইটা হবে ক্যাপিটাল নেক্সট এখানে তাই হইছে ওই একই নেক্সট আসলে আজকে না শুধু প্রতিদিনই হচ্ছে আর কি মনে করেন না যে ওনাকে ধরতেছি কেন আজকে দেখলাম যে সামনে আজকে ওই ডাইরেক্টর স্যার না একটু সময় বেশি পাওয়া যাবে একটু নেক্সট বলুন দা সিনিয়র কনসালট আপনারা হয়তো অনেকেই জানেন না সাদেক ভাই দুই দুটো জার্নালে এডিট করেছেন 
most probably Dinaspur Medical College. Okay. 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 Dinaspur, Tinta. And I take issue was. And they are putting it to put Halo फीडबैक so try it, try it. I'm not going to facilitate it to Pavana. It should just have the Nijak to easy color. Department is the night. The Uko, 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 the Uko